one of the first times in the history of science that you had a truly transdisciplinary project was the development of the atomic bomb. The Manhattan Project is sad testimony how people thought that the ends would justify the means. And because some clever people thought they need to outcompete their rivals in other countries with which they were at war, they could solve this problem and they should. So there was a joint problem that they had, a joint problem framing happened. It was mutual learning along the way and almost something terrible got unleashed out of that. It almost led to the Third World War and people in Hiroshima and Nagasaki would pay dearly what happened and also other people later in other catastrophes that came out of the atomic bomb. So, and people who participated were aware of it while, while it happened. They were working together with the military, with the government. There were many stakeholders involved. Well, and there were not only theoretical physicists, there were practical ones, mathematicians, engineers. There was uh, all sorts of production cycles that were involved. So many, many disciplines. And most of them were clear that the ends justify the means. So most of them knew we are working to win the war. And when they saw the devastation that happened, and when they then saw how it was unleashed on Japanese cities, that was then they realized, that they realized what kind of a severe grave mistake they had made. And Oppenheimer, who led the project uh, himself, he realized and tried to lobby, and Einstein and others did. So what we can learn out of this is quite straightforward. With all sorts of science, you automatically get involved, you interact, and never more before was there this direct interaction between scientists and society. It was a rapid success for the uh, project and a total devastation that would follow and that would propel us into an arms race a uh, cold war that almost turned into a very hot war. And even today, these dangers are not overcome. There's still the looming danger of the nuclear bombs. So, and that shows us that whenever we work together, also today, when we work on AI, when we work with CRISPR on uh, genetic changes, uh, when we work on dividing power, within society, even down to the most simple joint learning, there is a huge responsibility that can follow. And most people cannot anticipate it while it happens. This is why we need a new ethical following since modernity, following of the progress of science, because this progress can lead to devastation. And that's something that we should remember. When we look at the history of science, we should never forget how close science brought us to the brink of destruction.